I'm 42 and that means half of my life is over. I'm not okay being single. I don't want to be single and I get depressed. As a person who has been single for me personally my whole life. I'm 53. I am, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing it myself. I get my feelings hurt. I don't want to be a hookup. Three failed relationships since my marriage had ended. Um, and I have really missed kind of having someone to talk to. Currently I don't date. And it's purely for the reason that I am exhausted. I am done with all of these games. I'm done with men. Why is it so hard to find your person? God, am I lonely sometimes. I started chatting and it took him about 30 seconds to try and get his virtual hands down my virtual pants. Come on, ask me about my kids or my life or my musical still, whatever. Just not that, not so quickly. They say they want a relationship and they don't. They just want options. I am baffled the fact that I'm single. I am the full package. Like, let's face it, we're over 40. I'm 47 now. Like, I just want to go and enjoy the next 50 years with someone. Why are men terrified of an independent woman who knows what she wants? So, it's hard out here, man. I'm just like not looking forward to trying to explain to a man what do I do for a living, tell him how many siblings I have, what do I like to do for fun? But. So I did it, I did it today. I actually deleted my dating app. And also I'm just not feeling like dating. Um, I basically deleted all the apps. Ghastly freaking apps. Have you even any idea how ridiculously horrible they are? I want something real. It's not out there. Not for me. Yeah, it's not uh, looking good. 50 years old, single, I'm dating. Found nothing but lying. Very confusing because I am a freaking delight. Maybe I'm being picky or maybe I just have standards. I have an incredible career. I am truly living my best life. And so the man that is gonna come into this life is gonna have something of value to offer me. He's gonna make this great life greater. Let me make something perfectly clear to you. I do not need a man. I don't need a man. I want one. I think is I don't really need a man. I just want one. I have really missed kind of having someone to talk to even about the little things. And I'm ready now to sort of meet the person that I'm gonna grow old with. Um, I want to sit on a bench and eat chips, you know. I think when you're single for a long time, you really, really want it to be true. You want someone to be the one. You want you want it to end. You want to get off this merry friggin' go round. I've never had this amount of struggle in dating in my life. Do you know what I mean? I, I've had long-term relationships before I was single for this big period. I was 35 and I thought, you know what, at 35, he was probably 32, I think. But we were young enough to start again. So I thought, this is the best time. We need to do it now. Um, so we split and at first it was exciting. He's actually gone off, he's got a new wife and you know, he's living the life that maybe I wanted, if I'm honest. So far this series has taught me that if a woman so much as even implies that her man made a mistake, the internet will collectively tell her to dump him and that she's settling. But as it turns out, even when a woman is trying to speak highly of her man, you still tell her the same thing. And this bare minimum thing has gone way too far. This trend of bare minimum is getting ridiculous. I can't even post a TikTok anymore appreciating my partner without people commenting that it's the bare minimum or I have low standards. I literally hate this mindset so much. A man cooking, cleaning, looking after the kids is bare minimum. If my partner ever came home after I've cleaned the house all day, cooked a meal and looked after the children and he said bare minimum, I'd be screaming the house down. Apparently if anything in life makes you cry, it is your man's fault and you need to leave him immediately.